Hi friends, today we are dealing with another topic that is life cycle of HIV. So to begin with as usual, first we have the introduction, then the history of HIV followed by the structure of a virus, then the life cycle of the virus that is how the virus establishes infection into human body, then its pathogenesis and finally certain classical target, uh, targets for HIV which helps uh, completely stop the replication of virus. Now, as we all know, HIV is human immunodeficiency virus and it causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome in human beings. And this virus, it belongs to the retrovirus family, that is it carries RNA as its genetic material. Now, as per the recent reports of 2013, almost 1.3 million people, they died of HIV. Now, from this we can conclude that how fatal is the HIV infection. So next we have the timeline of HIV or we can say the history of HIV that is how this HIV has spread and how across the country uh, it has spread and uh, which was the first country to report the uh, HIV case uh, all this will be included. So starting from 1959 uh, Democratic Republic of Congo was the first country to report its HIV uh, case. Uh, followed by 1981, US was the country to report its first HIV case. Uh, in US, all the homosexual men, they suffered actually from pneumonia-like infections and their immune response was not uh, up to the mark to eradicate these infections and on further analysis, uh, it was seen that these men, they were HIV positive. Now, next in 1982, in month of September, a case was reported in San Francisco and uh, followed by 1984 further uh, because all, because of all these reports uh, national cancer institute uh, it discovered the causes of aids that is what are different causes how uh, which virus is responsible how it establishes infection in human body all this was reported by national cancer institute in 1984 and then by 1994 that is after ten, within 10 years uh, aids was one of the leading cause of death that means this virus has spread all over the world by 1994. Now next, we should know what how, what is the structure of the virus which causes AIDS, that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Now this is a retrovirus. Now being retrovirus, it has RNA as its genetic material. Now in this figure, we see the virus has an outer membrane as an inner core envelope this envelope it consists of the viral genetic material now this outer membrane it shows certain projections these projections they consist of two different proteins that is gp41 and gp120 this gp41 is the major protein which is responsible in integrating the virus with that of the host membrane now this genetic material which is present into the core envelope consists of different enzymes. Firstly we have the enzyme reverse transcriptase. This reverse transcriptase enzyme it converts the viral RNA into DNA. Next we have the integrase enzyme. This integrase enzyme it integrates the viral RNA, viral DNA into the host DNA. And further we have one more enzyme which is not mentioned in this uh, diagram is the protease which, which then uh, synthesizes viral proteins and further is responsible in viral assembly. So next we have the life cycle of uh, HIV, how the virus establishes infection into the human. So as stated in the previous slide, the protein GP41 is responsible for holding the uh, viral uh, envelope with that of the host cell envelope. So now, this G due to this GP41, the viral genetic material, it enters the cell. Now upon the entry of viral genome and the reverse transcriptase and all the enzyme assembly, there is synthesis of a DNA copy with the help of enzyme reverse transcriptase. Now this uh, already existing RNA is degraded and a second DNA strand is synthesized. This double stranded DNA is then circularized and this circular double stranded DNA further integrates with the host cell DNA. Now this host cell DNA further then is transcribed yielding messenger RNAs and viral genome RNA. Now this viral genome RNA is further translated yielding 
various viral enzymes. Now, with the help of enzyme protease, it also uh, forms in synthesis of different viral structural proteins. Now, these viral structural proteins then are further transported in towards the host cell membrane and further there occurs assembly of all the viral proteins and finally the virus is budded off. This is how there is establishment of infection of the virus. Now next is the pathogenesis of virus that is how the virus causes the disease. Now uh, it is commonly transmitted disease via hypodermic needles but uh, there is least use of used needles nowadays. Uh, also it is caused by uh, different blood transfusion uh, reactions. Uh, now upon acquisition of this virus, uh, this virus it replicates inside the cell and it co kills the helper T cells. That is this virus it directly affects the immune system that is adaptive immune responses of human being and hence this is, it is responsible in causing acquired immunodeficiency syndrome that is AIDS. Now different cells which are affected by this virus they include the CD4 plus cells, then the different helper T cells, different macrophages and B lymphocytes. That is all the cells that are respons all the cells that are responsible in the adaptive immune responses. Now um, how to eradicate this infection? There are different classical HIV targets that is by inhibiting those targets or by blocking those targets we can design a very good uh, drug which will help in completely eradicating HIV dis uh, uh, infection. So now these classical HIV targets they include different enzymes which are involved in the life cycle of HIV. As we have seen, the enzymes involved include reverse transcriptase, integrase and protease. By inhibiting these enzymes, we can inhibit the protein synthesis of the virus and hence there will be stoppage of the replication of the virus and so the infection will be eradicated. Now, there are different agents, anti-HIV agents, which uh, are structure, structural based, that is they, their structure is sim similar to that of few nucleotides that is during protein synthesis instead of a new nucleotide this agent is incorporated and because of which there is stoppage in the replication. This includes nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors as we have, no, uh, as we have learned zidovodin, lamivodin, stavodin. Now uh, these are the analogs, nucleoside analogs which act as potent replication inhibitors. Next we have non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. These are not related to the uh, any nucleoside or nucleotide but they directly inhibit the enzyme reverse transcriptase. Next we have retroviral protease inhibitors that is they inhibit the enzyme protease which is responsible in the production of protein production and the assembly of the viral proteins like indinavir, nelfinavir, sacrinavir etc. So now to study in further details about uh, HIV agents and their classification, their mechanism of action, their pharmacology and also to study different level targets by which we can eradicate the HIV infection. Please log on to our website for more videos and for more materials which is available free that is www.pharmatoppers.com. Thank you.